How's it going, everybody? Come to you today from the driveway. So you're gonna have to excuse the noise of the central air unit, neighbors, cars, all of that. I'm gonna be working on the TW today. And what I'm gonna be doing is installing the Bradley Performance Products foot peg relocation brackets. And what these will do will take your foot pegs and move them down an inch and back an inch, which will really help to open up that rider's triangle on the bike. When Bradley and Tater were here and I got to ride their bikes, Bradley had his moved back and he had bar razors. And that really made the bike feel like a much bigger bike. So I ordered me a set of these. We're gonna be installing them. It should be a super quick, easy job. So let's get right to it. It's still stupid hot here in Arkansas. So excuse the sweat. I watered down my driveway in an attempt to try to make it a little bit cooler out here and it just hasn't worked yet. So anyway, uh, on the back side here, you've got your little pin that goes through the peg and through the mount, and it's held in place with a little metal key. You gotta bend the key around, pull the key out, the pin will come out, and then your uh, peg and spring will come out. The back side of mine is bent and it's gonna make it a little bit harder to get that key out. I'll try to zoom you in and show you what I'm doing. There we go. I had to smash up my pin a little bit to get it out. And out she comes. So you can see with that bend the reason why I had to fight mine. Yours should not be that difficult to remove. After you get your peg and your pin removed, next you're gonna remove the factory bracket. Uh, 17 millimeter, you don't have to use an extension. Uh, you could use a, a wrench, but a 17 millimeter socket uh, is what I found works easier for me. and that will remove your factory bracket. The factory bracket set like this right here, here's gonna be how the Bradley Performance sets. So you can see it's down an inch and back an inch to give you more room with your rider envelope. Got some thunder. Don't look like it's anywhere near here. Ugh. Snug down your bolt. Time for reinstalling. Okay, so after you get it mounted up, just double check that your peg fits in there good. Just like so. Now we're gonna go to the other side before we finish. There's a little trick to these, so let's go to the other side. For this side over here, you're held on with two uh, hex head, uh, Allen key, hex head, whatever you want to call them, bolts. I have uh, an eight millimeter that fits, but I don't have enough strength to turn it out here. So little trick is get you a crescent, Put your crescent tied on, boom, you can now apply more leverage. So that's how we will remove this side. But again, we got to remove the peg first. So same thing as the other side. You're going to bend your keeper around, knock your pin out, and be good to go. Once you get your little keeper pin out, everything will come out together. 
And now we're gonna remove this side. And that's where this comes in. And I am about to get hit with this thunderstorm, so I'm going to have to take a break and come back to you guys as soon as it gets done raining. And here's the new one. So here comes that thunderstorm. I'm gonna get out of the driveway, I'll be right back. Sorry about the lighting, but I got chased into the garage by the thunderstorm, so I couldn't work outside. Uh, we had just removed the right-hand side, and uh, I told you when we were working on the left-hand side to get it removed before coming over here. And the reason why is you've got to take your spring and kind of reverse it and upside down it to get it to work. There's no hole drilled for the spring to go into. So you gotta take your spring and you can see there the little hole inside my peg. You take the crooked end, feed into it, and the long end sticks out. The long end is going to rest against the back here. It's kind of a pain to get in there, and it took me a couple of minutes to figure this out. Uh, there was no instructions, and there was no hole, so I wasn't for sure. Uh, so it took me a couple of minutes to figure it out, and that's why I said let's wait until we get on this side. So we got our pen ready. We're gonna line up, push our pen in through the peg and catching the spring. And this long piece of spring is gonna be compressed back against the back here. I will try to get this in frame for you, but this is kind of a hard shot to get. So hopefully I've made this as clear as mud for you. You've got your spring installed on your peg. You're going to take and kind of line up the best you can. I found it easiest to use something like this uh, five millimeter and kind of feed up through the backhand side and then try to grab the spring. There we go. You can see I've came all the way through and it's holding my peg in place. Then I'm going to take and try to square this up the best I can and pull this out just enough to get my pen started. And then just kind of slowly work my pen in as I work my uh, Allen key out. Now it takes a little bit of for dangling. Okay, so here we have the pin all the way through. Spring works on popping our peg back down. All we've got to do is put our keeper back in and voila, this side's done. Now we can go on and do the other side. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like when it's put together. Crooked neck goes in. That leaves the straight pin out. The straight pin to catch on the back here. So let's see. Get my tool, come in from the bottom side, try to catch. The spring and ah. there go. Okay. There. 
that's holding it in place. Kind of got everything there. Now I just want to pull this back out part way. Line up everything. There it is. Okay. There for a second. I thought my peg was off because I couldn't get over far enough. They're on there. All right. Again, all I got to do, put in my little keeper and make sure everything is tight. Ta-da. Okay. So after you get your pegs installed, you're going to have to adjust your brake lever down a little bit and your shifter lever down a little bit because you are now lower here on your pegs. And if you leave this where it's at, it's gonna be up, it's gonna be easy to catch. You're gonna be riding your brake and not know it. So you'll have to adjust your brakes. You'll have to adjust your shifter. That's on you. I'll let you figure out how to do it for you, what way works best for you, uh, because your feet are gonna hit in a different spot than mine. So for my feet, I'm gonna to have to get on here with my riding boots and see exactly where I need this to be. This part is gonna be different for each person. It's gonna be uh, dependent upon what size shoe you wear, uh, what type of boot you wear, if you like having this high, if you like having it low. But uh, so this part I'm gonna kinda of leave up to you to do is adjust your brake and adjust your shifter to you. But that's it. That's all it takes to install these on. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is a quick how-to install the Bradley Performance Products lowering foot peg kit for the TW200. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.